Hey everybody, uh, so we're going to start the second elimination activity where it's a little more advanced, so let's jump right into it. You'll notice with this system of equations, uh, neither one of the variable pairs have matching coefficients. So instead, what we're going to do is pick a variable and then multiply them by uh, opposite coefficients. So in this case, we'll choose the x value. So this is a 9, this is a 1. Well, they're both negative, negative 9, negative 1. So we'll multiply them by each other. In this case, this is going to be multiplied by 1, this is multiplied by 9. You'll also notice they're the same sign. So we're going to multiply one of these by a negative in order to change the sign. So we'll multiply this by negative 9. So basically, this top equation is not changing. We multiply by 1. So we're going to go ahead and rewrite that. So it's going to be negative 9x uh, plus 10y equals 6. And now we're multiplying this by negative 9. So I guess I'll draw some distribution arrows. So negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9x. As you can see, this will allow, now allow us to eliminate the x's. Negative 9 times negative y would be plus 9y. And nine time, negative 9 times negative 12, that's going to be a positive, right? And that's going to be 108. All right? So we're going to cancel those. 10y plus 9y will be 19y. We're going to add 608 together, so that's going to be 114, I believe. Yeah. Now we're going to divide both sides by 19. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's 6, but let's just double check that. 114 divided by 19, that's 6. Yep, we got that. Okay. So y is equal to 6. Now we plug this back into either one of these two equations. It doesn't matter which one. I guess we'll do the bottom one. So negative x, hold on a second here. So negative x minus y equals negative 12. 6 is going to take the place of the y, so negative x minus 6 equals negative 12. Now we're going to, let's see, get x by itself. So let's add 6 to both sides. That's our constant. And those cancel, so we have negative x equals negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6. Let's, we want this to be positive x, so we're going to divide both sides by negative 1. And negative 6 divided by negative 1 will be positive 6. So it'll be 6 comma 6. All right, cool. Let's try the bottom one. Number 3. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the y's. Now, you have two options here. You don't need to multiply both these. Like, you could always just multiply this by 2 to get 8. Uh, we could do that. But I like... I don't know, when you're learning this, they're both fine. If you know your times tables really well, you don't necessarily have to multiply both equations. Like, you can multiply the top equation by negative 2 and your y's would eliminate, or you can multiply the bottom equation by negative 2 and the x's would eliminate because this would become positive 18x, and you just wouldn't multiply the other. But I just find when people are learning, it's, it's less confusing just to multiply both equations. So in this case, we're going to get rid of our y's. So we're going to multiply this by 4 and this by 8. This is the opposite uh, coefficients. So this multiplies by 8, this multiplies by 4. They're both the same signs, so we're going to make one of them negative to make them opposite, uh, sorry, additive inverses, rather. So we're going to distribute this 8. So 8 times 18, let's see, 4, carry the 6. I think it's 144, I think. Did I do that right? I did, sweet, okay. So it's going to be 144x, negative 144x, rather. 8 times 4y is going to be plus 32y. And 8 times 28. 64, carry 6, is it 224? 8 times 28, yep, 224. And that's going to be negative 224. The only, the only drawback when you multiply both equations without trying to, well, when you both multiply both equations, you end up with larger numbers than you would otherwise, but as long as you have a calculator to help you, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, negative 4 times negative 9x is going to be positive 30, 36x. Negative 4 times positive 8y would be negative 32y, which is exactly what we wanted. And then negative 4 times negative 2 would be positive 8. Okay. So now negative 144x plus 36x. That should be negative 108x. Right? Yeah. And then these cancel. Cancel, not cancel. And then negative 224 minus 8, <coughs> sorry, plus 8. Uh, that'd be negative 216. 
Yep. And now we're in divisible sides by our coefficient, which is negative 108. And x should equal a positive 2. So we have our x value. Then this gets plugged into either equation. I'll use the bottom one. So negative 9x plus 8y equals negative 2. The x will be replaced with 2. So negative 9 parentheses plus 8y equals negative 2. We're going to plug a 2 in here. So negative 9 times 2 is negative 18 plus 8y equals negative 2. And we're going to add 18 to both sides. So 8y equals let's see, negative 2 plus 18 is going to be 16. Divide by 8. y will be equal to, let's see, 16 divided by 8 is 2. All right, 2 comma 2. And that's it. All right. <clears throat> okay, number 5. Okay, same thing here, like you don't have to multiply both of them. In fact, for these I'm going to show you how you can do without it. Now this isn't always the case. Sometimes you do have to multiply both of them, which is totally fine. But let's just do one where you don't have to. So for example, look, the, th this has a coefficient of negative 1, this is a coefficient of 3. So if I just multiply this by 3, it'll become negative 3, and the x's will cancel. So let's try that. Let's multiply just that by 3, right? We're going to leave the bottom equation alone. So we're going to get negative 3x plus 12y equals negative 39. And the bottom equation is unchanged. So 3x plus y equals negative 26. Okay. The x terms cancel. 12y plus y is 13y. And let's see. These are going to add together because they're the same sign. So 9 plus 6 is 15. Carry the 1. 4, 6, so negative 65. Yep. So we're going to divide both sides by 13. And we're going to get y equals negative 5, I believe. Uh, yeah, negative 5. So that's our y value. We're going to plug that in here. So 3x. And it doesn't matter which one you plug it into. I'm just picking it because it looks like it's the easiest one to do. So we're going to plug in negative 5 for y. So 3x plus parentheses negative 5 equals negative 26. Now we have to add 5 to both sides. Those cancel. 3x equals negative 21. We'll divide both sides by our coefficient, which is 3. And x will equal negative 7. So we'll have negative 7 comma negative 5. All right, awesome. OK, last one. Uh, we'll do the same thing. So in this case, when you have a coefficient of 1 or negative 1, it's typically really easy just to multiply that by the other coefficient. Likewise here, you could multiply 6 by 2 to make 12, but we'll just stick to that. We know this is a coefficient of negative 1, so we'll just, we can just multiply that by 10, right? So multiply that by 10, and so we're going to multiply by negative 10, actually, because they're already both negative, and we need them to be opposite signs. So that way this will be positive 10, and that way they'll eliminate. <clears throat> so let's distribute this. So negative 10 times negative 1 is going to be positive 10x. Negative 10 times 12y will be minus 120y. And negative 10 times negative 22 will equal positive 220. And we just bring down this other equation without any changes. Negative 10x plus 6y equals 8. OK, we're going to cancel the x terms. Negative 120y plus 6y would be negative 114y. I kind of drew that really sloppily, sorry. And then 220 pl plus 8 would equal 228. Divide that by negative 114. And y will equal negative 2. We're going to now plug that into another term over here. We'll use the top equation. So negative x plus 12y equals negative 22. Negative x plus 12 parentheses. Negative 2 is our, our value there, equals negative 22. Negative x and then min minus 24 equals negative 22. We're going to add 24 to both sides. <clears throat> negative x equals, let's say, 2. 
Let the negative one. Two. It's negative two comma negative two. That's it. All right, so um, that's it. So hopefully this, this answers any questions you had. If you need to see any of the evens, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.